Okay, we are running behind today. It's 8.30. Got two tanks exposed. Got to sneak in through here. Plumbers is here. They're getting ready to pump. But, uh... Come on! <laughs> he was supposed to be here unloaded. I left 20 minutes after him, but... I took the way that didn't hit traffic, and he took the way that did. We're going to get this uh, second tank in, and then... Uh, uh, we got to figure out which drain field. There's an old 1968 drain field and a 1978 drain field that we've got to figure out which one it's going to go to, but we're in. Okay, we got first tank in. Added a clean out. Ended up being a cast pipe, so we ended up going a little bit further back to the house. Old tank's right here. Second old tank I haven't collapsed yet. It's right there. And to get back here, we actually had to spin the excavator because we were going to catch the gutter here and then we had to cut down a tree oh somewhere right here we had to cut down a big tree it's over there now but in order to get to the backyard so it's just a tight one that's why we didn't collapse that yet that's why we didn't find the drain field yet so we're just kind of taking this one a little bit slower okay last hole getting drilled changed up on us a little bit First tank, second tank, goes underneath their uh, flower garden here. And the outlet's over here, which puts it underneath this conduit, going back to the shed. But the thing that we have to kind of start investigating here is that is our drain field that was definitely being used. And the part that we don't know is if this is part of the 1968 drain field, or if this is a really long extension to the 1978 drain field so so every time you can pretty much plan on some kind of uh, change nothing ever goes uh, real easy so no big deal we're just going to scoop this back keep following this pipe hopefully we find a nice dry patch and then that's what we're going to connect into uh, i'll show you this real quick this is the drain field you can see how wet that is but we would say this still has a little bit of life. Really black, wet stone underneath. Right where the pipe's at is, it's not black yet to the top. So it doesn't have much life, but it still has a little bit of life left. So the thing that's weird on this is there's no, usually down below the black, you'd usually have six inches of gray, uh, sandy soil from that fluent running down. So. This just failed right at the sand layer, which is kind of bizarre. Okay, we are all set, all packed up, ready to go. He even got the sign out front. So we've done, I think, five septics down this road here. We haven't done any up this way. But uh, anyway, Ethan's going to get this all blown out real quick, get the street all cleaned up, and get the excavator dropped at the job for tomorrow, another tank replacement.